In this video, we're going to implement matrix addition in C, where we're going to represent matrices with 2D arrays. Now for matrix addition to work, the matrices have to have the same dimensions. So the first thing we'll do is define two constants for the number of rows and columns in our matrices. And they'll actually have to define some test matrices. So I'll say here int a rows calls for the dimensions. And I'll just put all one values in this matrix, just to keep it somewhat simple here. And then I'll make a matrix B and we'll add A and B together. So I'll just copy and paste this actually to save a bit of time here. And I'll say here B and I'll put all twos in here. So two, two and so on. And then we'll have to make one more matrix C with the same dimensions and C is going to store the result of the addition. So I'll say in C rows and calls as well. We'll make a function to actually carry out the addition. So here I'll say void matrix addition in A rows and calls. And A will be the first argument. B will be the second argument. And then we'll have C as the third argument. So in C rows and calls. And then we'll copy and paste this here and we'll implement the function down here. So the way that matrix addition works is that we add together the corresponding elements in A and B, and we store the result into the corresponding element in C. In other words, we take the value at each row and column position in A and B, add them together, and store them in that row and column position in C. And so next, I'm gonna create an outer loop here that's gonna take a counter variable i and iterate it from zero up until the number of rows in our matrices. Then I'll have an inner loop that's gonna take a counter variable j and take it from zero up until the number of columns in our matrices. So what's gonna happen is this inner loop is gonna iterate over all possible column index values with j. And then this outer loop is gonna do that with all possible row index values using counter variable i. So in here, if I say c i j is equal to a i j plus b i j, the result is that we're gonna add together all the possible corresponding values in a and b and store the result into c. So we'll actually test this function out now. Here I'll say, matrix addition and I'll pass it the matrices A and B and C to store the output. Now to actually see the resulting matrix, we're going to have to do a similar logic to what we just had in terms of going over all the possible row and column index values to output all the elements in C. So here I'll say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than rows, i plus plus. And then for int j is equal to zero, j is less than calls, j plus plus. And we'll do a printf of each element in the matrix C. Now what I'm also gonna do is print a new line here. So this is gonna print out each row of values. And after each row, I'm gonna print a new line. So that way the next row of values in the matrix does appear on a new line in the terminal. So we'll save this and run it. And we get this matrix of all threes. And that actually makes sense given that A is made up of all ones and B is made up of all twos. So we've written a function in C that implements matrix addition. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.